Hey everyone, this is JD Aster 64 and welcome to the second part of my pre hooktail pit run, where we take on uh, my least favorite uh, set of floors in the entire pit. Wait, these are your least favorite set of floors? <laughs> are you joking me? You have to be pulling my leg here. No, this is Miles buddies. Luigi, by the way. And Higsby. But yeah, we're only doing, like, what is this, 21 to 30? <laughs> Yeah, I really, really, really hate the 20s, and uh, I have several good reasons for that, actually. For one, uh, Fire Drive, the badge we just picked up uh, in the 20s, uh, you re right on floor 20, you really don't have the FD for at this point. And uh, these guys, Spike Goombas, they're one of the other reasons I really hate this set of floors. Uh, they are I guess very this whole difficult set here to super and, Yeah, this whole um, uh, set... It's really hard to super guard a lot of the enemies in the 20s, at least in my opinion. And this is probably where your stats are the worst in comparison uh, to the enemy stats. Like, these enemies all have 7 HP and 3 to 4 attack power. And, uh, I mean, you're still at 15 HP in all likelihood. Uh, level 5, I guess I'm at now. They also don't give you, like, any star points at all on these floors, so... <laughs> That's there's not really much of a promise of quick level ups or anything. Mm. And to make matters worse, I'm starting this whole set off at one ex uh, one uh, star point there, so this will be really fun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, you at least got the attack off. I was actually wondering. Okay, sweet treats. Oh, you didn't sweet treat, because that's what I would have done there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is actually my third time doing a uh, successful uh, bit, of, bit of 100 Trials run uh, with the uh, pre hooktail uh, pit. And uh, the only two failed runs I ever did, they both failed on the 20s. <laughs> I, I've never lost in the, la the latter half of the pit. Both failed in the 20s. Uh, one was this to super a gu uh, guard uh, fail on a um, uh, spiked Goomba. And the other one, I guess it wasn't so much like... I think I rage quit on that one. It wasn't so much that I actually died. I was pretty much in an unwinnable situation, though. And I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on how that came to be when that comes up later here. <laughs> and that, to be honest, that really worried me this time, because uh, that first run that I failed, uh, I had Mega Rush P then. So, worst comes to worst, on a um, uh, retry, I could just blitz through everything with that, with that make sure. Um, Koops uh, was in peril, and I could use power shell repeatedly. But yeah, since I'm doing this run without without the um, help of Mega Rush B, I, I really made sure I was more than prepared for the situation. Hmm. It's actually a really good point. If you are using the Mega Rush P, that's exactly seven attack power Koops has, which exactly kills everything here. <laughs> yep, and uh. The if the boos don't have the chance to elevate like this one did, uh, everything is grounded except the um, uh, Lakitu's coming up. So, oh, these are the set of floors that has Lakitu's. Lovely. <laughs> they're the least of my concern. I hate them too, but uh, <laughs> they're, not much, they're, the, they're not much of a threat as far as, far as damage goes. Spinies can lengthen a battle, but no, they're not hard at all. We'll see what you're saying about that later on. <laughs> Anyway, that battle was a massive grind. Yeah, ton of star points. I, I was actually surprised by that. I'd forgotten nope. that uh, boos are actually several levels higher, like uh, star point levels higher than anything else on this set of floors. Yeah, they're from Creepy Steeple, and a lot of everything else here is from Glitzville, I want to say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think most of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, all of the other enemies, actually, excepting the spiky combos, are from Glitzville. So yeah, here I got on Fire Drive, I want to be, and Take Off Power Plus, I want to be really prepared for this next floor. And uh, you'll see uh, what I mean when the enemies uh, pop up here. Gotcha, I like how you were contemplating over that FP Drain badge, I really want to see you make use out of that. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I never do, because uh, that's one of the few badges that's uh, like widely considered and probably, I don't know, to be like one of the least useful uh, badges in the entire pit, since you really can't afford to, le to lose that extra attack power, and you don't get the FP if you don't do any damage, so... So yeah, I want to make sure I get this first strike. Also a note, if you're not doing this with Mega Rush B, 
always for a strike with Mario. He has at least as much power. Okay, so I got lucky on this one. Ooh, like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the badge, <laughs> extra HP on a Spike Goomba, that's not, that's no yeah. fun. <laughs> and it's definitely not worth the BP, so. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky, nonetheless, on this um, uh, set of floors. Yep, there's my uh, super guarding skills, um, uh, at their best. Mm. Oh, and Goomba can't do much for you except tattle. Yep. I don't recall, yeah, I do end up switching, because I, I need Goops on this set of floors. But yeah, bandits... It's probably the smarter move, you're right. Yeah, bandits are um, uh, my least favorite enemy on this set of floors. And uh, as much as I hate the not being able to uh, super guard uh, Spike Goombas, bandits, if you get a line of four or five of them, which I believe can happen, then you pretty much have to wipe them out in one turn. That would be really good at guarding them. At least for me, the, the guard timing on their attack is really difficult, and if you get hit, they'll steal a coin, and you uh, or an item perhaps? I think just coins? Regardless. Here they'll just steal coins, but the point is if one of them runs away, unlike in Glitzville where you end up winning the battle anyway, you'll have to refight them. Yes, and that is what got me into that unwinnable situation on my first run of this. On 427, I think it was, I had a line of five bandits, and I was just at completely... I had, like, no HP or FP left, and no star power either, and my partners were all dead. <laughs> wow. Like, There's no way I'm going to win this. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess since they were going to run away anyway, I could have repeatedly grinding out by, like, uh... I guess appealing and then sweet treating my FP up to the point where I could kill them, but without a partner, I don't see how I could have even killed the guy in the back in one turn. Because multiple of them at that, that point had stolen coins. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> here's the game throwing you into a potentially unwinnable situation. <laughs> oh yeah, the bandits are Floor quite 22. in that regard. So yeah, but theoretically that behavior is actually supposed to help you, but I'll get into that way later. <laughs> Anyway, um, Lakitu, I don't know why you have hammer badges on, but okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm not sure what I was thinking here either. I guess piercing blow is useful on the spinies, but uh, I mean, I couldn't use oh, fire drill. Actually, good point. I think they have three defense. Yeah, they do have three defense. Uh, and they have the annoying uh, capability to just sort of ball up and not attack, but be completely un 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 unable to take damage. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, the Lakitu's, uh, I only got one, and they're, they only have five HP, so especially with the Power Plus, they go down super fast. <laughs> oh, well, looks like you're either taking handy. one damage, no damage, or Goombella's getting your hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like those options. That works. No damage. And of course, now I land the Super Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at stake. Always the way. There's a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Let's let boost Mario's defense. Super guard. <laughs> hey, you got an item. Hey, yeah, there's my first item drop. Honestly, that? Spite Pouch, uh, that gives you um, uh, the counter status where any direct attacks, uh, you uh, you take full damage still, but um, uh, any enemies that hit you with direct attacks will receive half of that damage dealt to themselves. I personally don't think that's very useful at all during this run, <laughs> since, uh, I mean, your aim is to not take damage uh, by using super oh, Exactly. Guns. So, yeah. I think I end up throwing that away or just wasting it by just, like, using it on a turn in battle where I know it's not going to do much and I can't do much anyway. Yeah, exactly. The problem is you're just not really able to take damage, really. Oh, bye 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 bombs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bomb bombs? Uh, yeah, what bomb bombs? Uh... I, I am fighting one sp Spike Goomba, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but back onto the topic of the Spike Pouch, where that is most theoretically useful, not in this pre hook tail run, is when you uh, use Madame Flurry and you use her lip lock ability to constantly regain all that HP she is losing, you basically can get the enemies to kind of suicide onto you, because, you know, they attack Flurry and Flurry gets her HP back, they attack Flurry and they just kind of kill themselves in the process. Yeah, I guess I never thought much of Flurry when I was uh, doing a... Like, I haven't actually played through this game in a very long time, and again, this has been like months I haven't played this game when I uh, did this run. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was watching some of your videos uh, of, of uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I was like, 
really surprised at how useful that move was. I had never oh. thought to use her much at all. Exactly, that's like, like her entire gimmick is that if you throw her in front of Mario and continuously use Lip Lock, she can stay in front of Mario and protect him for a really long time. Which kind of also plays into her, uh, I guess, character too. Oh, you have a line of boost. Seven, <laughs> seven, again, 7 HP, uh, 3 attack. This will be fun. <laughs> oh, man. Not particularly, um, uh, I mean, still not particularly threatening as far as um, uh, damage goes, but uh, this could be pretty long. Especially since I apparently still don't have a uh, power rush on. Or power plus on, rather. Ah, that's a good point. Did you have Fire Drive equipped at this time? I did, and now it's worthless. <laughs> I probably <laughs> should have used it. Ooh. I'm not really sure how that works, uh, seeing as I, like, never made contact with the ground in that. <laughs> but yeah, power, ju uh, power Jump and Power Smash have a chance of making the background fall. And in this case, that's really useful, since that takes them from one round KO plus one HP to a one round KO. <laughs> <laughs> you can savor a little bit of that FP you have now. Just do a regular jump with Mario, do the regular head bonk with Goombella, and they're dead. I mean, I suppose if you super guard them once, that also um, uh, mitigates that, but again... Ah, uh, super guarding the blue. <laughs> yeah. I, they I, hesitate before they attack you, but... Well, I say that, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's very uh, easy to super guard that at all. Here we are with the sweet treat again. There we go. What's one guy gonna do to me after all? Yeah, I'd say an average it's... Uh, I'm average at sweet treat. I am definitely not as good as I should be. <laughs> Ooh, do I kill him with the super? I don't think anyone's really oh. good. Yeah. Cool with that sweet treat. <laughs> just try to see... do it and hope for the best. I don't know. Have you seen Avengers of uh, Paper Mario? Uh, his pre Hilltail run? Oh God! You yes. Oh my gosh! He's a sharpshooter at that. You're right. Yeah. He he did this without Mega Rush P, and I believe he never had his partner die. He he went in with just a life stream, never used it. Wow. Yeah. He was oh. getting like tw like uh, the max you can get a seven HP uh, of each type and uh, eight FP, I believe. Uh, he was getting like twenty plus stats every single time he used it. Like I saw him get it perfect, I believe, three times in a row at some point. Oh, wow. He, he is just insane at that. Like normally, I mean, I guess my modus operandi on that is like make sure there aren't any poison mushrooms potentially in my arc and just fire at, at random. And once three po poison mushrooms, once I'm sure they're all gone, just fire all the time. <laughs> just mash the left button. Mm. But no, he, he he actually aims for everything. And there goes Koops again. Bye bye, Koops. Oh, and I think that was really an issue. This is floor 26, isn't it? Gosh, I better hope I level up on this. Because I need him next floor. <laughs> Coming with the bandits again. I can definitely see why these floors give you so much trouble. The enemy kind of combinations do suck. Wow. Well, that's not gonna help your partner there. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid he's not getting much use out of that. But, uh, yeah, at this point, you either need a level up or an item to bring Koos back. You came pretty scant on the items, if I recall correctly. Yep. I mean, yeah, I don't have anything to bring him back. I don't have any healing items at the moment. Either that or you have to hope for a heart, or wait, <laughs> that's gonna level you up. Nope, I just barely got it. I may wow. have actually known that, since my, um, uh, again, my, uh, enemy sheet that I had, uh, with me lists their level, which determines how many star points you get, and I, I was aware of how that works, so I might have known that that was going to happen <laughs> from the get-go. <laughs> I'll give myself uh, the benefit of the doubt on that. Uh, Otherwise, that's, that's that was really smart. stupid to keep Koops out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I have that BP, I think I am uh, probably put on a uh, power rush or power plus again. Probably don't take it off again either. Leave it on. You spent 16 star pieces on 15. Did I say 16? I meant 15. <laughs> anyway, line of bandits, right? Nope. Well, close, close enough, yeah. You got the one in the back. That's kind of the problem. 
Thankfully, I'm just coming off a level up, so I am fully capable of taking this. So you How get more stuff than I did. You get more start points in the battle that has four or five enemies, right? That's true. Uh, generally, uh, if you know your level, uh, the enemy's level minus your level, just cut that in half. Uh, that's how many star points you would normally get, I believe. But uh, a set of three enemies will give you 10% more than that. A, um, a set of four will give you 30%. And a, um, uh, a set of five will give you 50% more than that. So yeah, bigger groups de not only give you more star points by, the, by virtue of the fact that they're bigger, but they also give you an added bonus. So lines of five, while they can be really dangerous, are very useful in getting level ups fast. And uh, that, yeah, that's lines one thing, of five is that's, one that's thing where you like. pull out the fire drive and the power. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that never really happened to me too terribly often in my uh, current run on the my previous run of this. I almost never got lines of four or five at the same time. Well, oh know. well, this is actually going to be useful. <laughs> it's about oh. time. Not quite a one hit kill, unfortunately. Well, he's now a super guard away from dying. <laughs> Turn those odd numbers of help. <laughs> oh, it gets better. The more powerful Akatus, whose name is escaping right now, right now, they have 13 HP. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> a real thing. Just out of range of being ki killable by like one, like one obscenely good um, uh, <laughs> power balance, I suppose, or just that, pl even that plus a um, uh, Goombella attack often doesn't quite get you to 13. 10, 11, 12! Shoot. Yeah, <laughs> so let's see here, maybe I fight these bob bombs just slightly longer than last time. Put on Power Smash. Again, Piercing Blow is not really useful until you start running into enemies with more than two defense. I'm not sure why I had it on to begin with. Spinies aren't that much of an issue. Oh, I remember the, uh, wow. this was really fun, uh, the items here. Uh, so yeah, enemy AI is basically just like, if something can be hit, like, if something can be healed, they pretty much will heal it. So I was going to try to get it to heal the bot bomb, and since, like, si since it would attack and kill itself anyway, that wouldn't be any use. Look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Never saw that one coming. I also like how the bucket tried to sabotage me. Like, wow! <laughs> I'm not sure how that counts as an attack. Oh, yeah, I have never seen that happen before. That's <laughs> funny. Not even better than I was expecting. Holy cow. Okay, oh, yeah. that's another little minor thing that I now know about this game. Holy cow. <laughs> Bombs blow up when you use items on them and they're angry. <laughs> that is so weird. Unfortunately, you can't really get much mileage out of that. Because <laughs> this and Glitzville are the only place they appear. Oh, the bulky bo Oh, wait, bulky bo bombs are different. Never mind. Yeah, they got their own little idiosyncrasies. And they'll be fun when we um, uh, run up against them later. Yeah, that was the 20s, pretty much. Not nearly as bad as that could have been. <laughs> Especially without Mega Rush B. Oh yeah, you made that look doable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're saying that's the worst it gets? That's the worst it gets? I'm not gonna say that's the worst it gets. That's just my least favorite. Okay. And here, this guy here, now this guy is really useful. So basically, Charlyton, he has a random chance of appearing. I don't know if it's... if what exactly the chance is, how it works, but he has a random chance of appearing on every, like, set of ten floors. Mm -hmm. And he will sell um, uh, those same six items uh, to you for increasingly higher um, uh, prices. So basically you're going to want to um, uh, just spend all the coins you have at any given point uh, on useful attack items. The last time I played through the pit, I only can uh, encounter him once out of all ten floors, so... <laughs> I mean, all ten. Well, actually, that's technically not. Yeah, but you know, I only found him once along the way. Yeah, the other thing to note here, uh, that badge I just picked up, Zap Tap. Incredibly useful badge. I'd say not so much as Fire Drive. Fire Drive's definitely the, the real, the run maker in the in these um, uh, 
badge drops. But uh, Zapdap is going to be very, very useful uh, later we'll on. We'll get into this more next time, okay? All right. So <laughs> um, uh, this has been uh, JDH64. I'll see you next time. <clears throat> yep, Ben Miles, Luigi. Hey, thanks, B. I'll see you.